Before we start the course, let's see how acquainted you are with the concept of Next Generation Networks, or NGN. You'll attempt some introductory questions on NGN, which will provide you a brief insight into your awareness of the concept, as well as the topics that we'll cover in this course. Best of luck! Click Start when you are ready. In large networks, it is difficult to connect sending and receiving nodes point to point. Therefore, connection is routed through multiple points, and multiple paths are available to link a sender and a receiver. After completing this unit, you will be able to explain the different switching techniques used in data network, differentiate between virtual circuit and datagram. Switching is a technique that uses a hardware or software device to create a connection between one or more than one device, node, or computer. Four types of switching techniques are available. Click each type to learn more. Telephone network is an example of circuit switching network. Telex network is an example of message switching network. X.25 network is an example of packet switching network. Asynchronous transfer mode, or ATM network, is an example of cell switching network. In circuit switching, a dedicated path between the source node and the destination node is set up for the duration of communication session to transfer data. A typical example is the use of fax machine in telephone network. Click the Characteristics button to learn more. The characteristics of circuit switching are as follows. Dedicated hardware connection between sender and receiver. In packet switching, the user messages are split up into packets of a fixed maximum size to be sent across the network. The whole user messages are consequently reassembled at the destination node. Packet switching is more efficient than message switching as it is capable of achieving the pipelining effect. This can significantly reduce the transmission time between the sender and receiver. Click the Characteristics button to learn more. The characteristics of packet switching are as... The switching techniques mentioned previously are related to the proper... In the virtual circuit model, the network layer provides the transport layer with a perfect channel and all packets are delivered in order. A virtual path or circuit is set up so that packets can pass through over this connection. This connection can be a permanent virtual circuit or switched virtual circuit analog to leased or switched line. Click each button to learn more. The figure shows an internal virtual circuit. A route for packets between two stations is defined and labeled. All packets for that virtual circuit follow the same route and arrive in the same sequence. Before we proceed, let's take up an activity. Drag each characteristic and drop it under the correct type of subcommunication network. When you are done, click Submit. A repeater is the simplest and the least expensive internetworking device. It copies every message it hears on LAN number 1 to LAN number 2, sometimes unnecessarily. A repeater operates at level 1 of the OSI model. It receives a signal, amplifies it, and then retransmits it along the next leg of the medium. You'll now attempt some questions on the topics covered in this lesson. Feedback will be provided after each question. Best of luck! Click Start when you are ready. 